Uh, everyone, thanks for joining. Uh, my name is Laura Brady. I'm a pre-sales technical consultant here uh, at HP. Um, and I am here to introduce uh, Jason Copa. Copa? Copa. Both are right. Okay. <laughs> Depends if you're in Europe or America. Okay. Um, so Jason is a, a partner business manager for HP that manages the relationship with NECS. He's got over 10 years of industry experience, and he's going to help walk us through HP's personal computing devices to help prepare your business for the future. Uh, learn how HP PCs are pre preparing your workforce for more mobile post-pandemic work environment and features to provide the best experience for your employees. A um, couple of housekeeping notes. Uh, we are recording this session, so um, hopefully everyone's okay with that. And lastly, we do have a giveaway um, and we need you to stay on till the end of the presentation to learn how you obtain your giveaway. And I will um, give you a little sneak peek. I, I've put this right in front of my face, but we're giving away Yeti, um, tumblers that look like this. I love mine. So um, stay on till the end and we'll um, we'll tell you how you can get yours. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Jason and uh, thank you again for joining us this morning. Thanks, Laura. Um, so as Laura said, I'm Jason Kappa. I'm the uh, PBM that covers uh, NECS in the Northeast over here. Um, obviously, if you're on this call, you're already experiencing uh, somehow the great uh, customer service and uh, um, just uh, general all-around customer experience that you're getting from NECS. Um, we put this together to make sure that you guys remember that you don't just have to get your print needs taken care of from NECS. NECS is a phenomenal partner of HPs. Anything that's got an HP logo on it, you can get through uh, NECS. So I'm hoping uh, that you'll be able to walk away from this with a little bit more knowledge and competence of being able to secure, um, you know, your PC environment uh, through NECS and HP. Um, also, uh, I try to be very conversational throughout these, so um, I, I try not to give you the uh, death by PowerPoint, but we're giving away uh, Yeti coolers at the end or the, the uh, insulated cup, so at least you'll be able to keep a hot toddy if it is too much death by PowerPoint at you and maybe relax a little bit uh, down the road. Um, but please uh, feel free to put a hand up, interrupt away if, if I say something that you want a little clarification on. I'd much rather give you guys exactly what you need to get out of this rather than just talk at you. But if you don't feel like interrupting away, uh, we will have time for questions at the end. Um, but just to open up with a little bit of the experience uh, piece for this conversation, um, little, little open Q&A for you. If you had to take a guess, what would you think the TripAdvisor star rating would be for this hotel? Uh, you know, is it a five star, is it a four star, three, two, one? I'd be happy uh, if anyone wanted to open up the line or Laura or Don, just take a stab at what you think this hotel would be rated at online. We want people to put it in the chat, maybe? People can put it in the chat. I'll, I'll hear it in the chat if we want to shout some of that out. If we yeah, I can what, put it in the chat what, what you think this would be. I'll, I'll, type, I'll type my message here. Three, two, okay. See, uh, see a little bit of that. Four. There you go. Two. Um, all right. So let's see. Three. Fam <laughs> <laughs> Love you breakfast for good happy hour. And, nice. You know, happy hour is part of an experience too. Um, it so is. Yeah, I mean, when you cut, when you look around at this hotel, you kind of see it looks a little dingy. You know, there's a shadow in the pool. You can see it's got the room air conditioning units, um, but. Laura Brady with the four star, that would be the accurate rating of this online. And there's a key reason why it's the experience. So there's literally this popsicle hotline right next to the pool. And this is a pool <laughs> like suburban LA, kind of dingy. Like I, I, I lean with you, Jared, the lousy breakfast, but a good happy hour. Good happy hours turn a lot of things around. Um, but this popsicle hotline on a scorching hot LA day, you pick up the phone, a very polite gentleman answers, and then out comes a butler in a tuxedo with coattails on a silver platter serving you an ice cold popsicle. And that experience is enough for people to say, I'm going to go stay at that dingy, potentially roach infested, but maybe good happy hour hotel because I get a great experience. And that's really what we're trying to, you know, evangelize to our customers is that 
we're moving from beyond just making simple products and we're really trying to provide an experience to our customers. It's the same reason that, you know, for someone like myself, yes, Dunks always gets the job done, but you've probably got a local coffee house for a reason. It might be the way that they grind the beans. It might be the little leaf design in the cappuccinos. It might just be that they'll actually put the cream cheese on your bagel and at Dunkin' Donuts, they just throw the plastic cup in with the knife and expect you to do it yourself. Whatever it is, experience is really the way that the world has kind of come to expect how their products behave. And it has to go a little bit further beyond just what a product is. And so I think pre-pandemic last year, I would think that we would have addressed the workforce really in three ways. Who's doing the work? Where is that work happening? And what tools, methods, and style, how is that work happening? And it's a great way to innovate products because it puts people at the center of what we're doing and allows us to put a why ahead of a one. Um, obviously, slight change in the past year. Don't know if it really impacted you guys at all or not, but everything's really changed over the last 15 months. You know, everything has gotten a lot more personal. You know, almost three quarters of people are, you know, rethinking your life priorities. If you heard the conversation between Don Lord and myself before, um, you know, talking about just how different it is not going into an office every day, you know, and rethinking your priorities. Is your priority really, I have to be on the road and away from my family and my home? Or, you know, is there a way for me to do the best of both worlds? And that obviously means that security all of a sudden becomes an issue. So for anyone who's an IT manager and, you know, or CISO on the call right now, I'm sure that you're always thinking, all right, well, now all of a sudden, all these devices that I had inside my environment are now outside. So security immediately becomes uh, a larger concern. And at the same time, connectivity is huge because before, you know, how many times are you going to miss a meeting for that rare, you know, dog ate my homework excuse or my car broke down excuse? You know, that didn't really happen frequently. But now connectivity issues, latency issues, video quality issues, all these things all of a sudden have come into our purview. And they're central to the theme and the experience of how we're all using our devices. So at HP, we've kind of taken this rapid transition of, you know, how life used to be and how it is. And that's why we're purpose building devices with office mobility in mind. For example, a lot of what you're seeing in, you know, in our devices these days are focused around microphones and sound quality that are going to be able to drop the white noise out in a room. For example, if you're at a cafe and be able to focus on the user right in front of you. Um, desk space, huge. We're not working in front of big desks anymore. We're working all over the place. Maybe it's in at a front desk, maybe it's in a lobby or a casual space. So we're trying to build devices that are smaller. Uh, we're also trying to think about, you know, what happens if you're in the middle of a room away for an outlet? You know, do you have the ability to work at the same power rate that you would if you were plugged in? Do you have long battery life to be able to make sure that you can make it to the next time you get a charge on? So there's all these things that have now started to go into why and how we're building our devices. And then we've had to take it even a step further to micro mobility. Now, when you think about it, your employees are working in places that were not designed to have conference calls. You know, some people might have to set their desk up in the middle of a kitchen. So noise cancellation all of a sudden becomes a big thing. Maybe they have to be outside on a patio because the kids are inside doing remote learning and there's no other place. Do you have anti-glare, you know, outdoor viewable screens on all your notebooks? Do you have the ability to have that battery power? And do you have assurances from a connectivity standpoint that you're going to be able to connect to the least crowded router or access point so that you're not going to be interrupting uh, any of the meetings that you have going on? These are all the reasons that the new line of HP devices that we've started to roll out now, and this is a lot of the why that we've put the feature sets um, into our devices that we have. So wanted to introduce you to someone, we call her the mobile trailblazer. Professionals are always on the move. You're going from the office to home, to a customer site, wherever, but you need that same ubiquitous level of networking, battery life, security, and portability. Does that sound like anyone we know? Maybe anyone or all of us that are on a call right now. You're away from the desk most of the time. Um, you know, you're really trying to make the best of wherever you find yourself working on a given day. So obviously, if you're working from anywhere, you need a device that's small and light. You need that battery life. You need to be connected all the time. And the other thing that I think people have started to hone in on, especially now that we're losing this sense of an office and where we're working, 
the device that you're carrying around tends to reflect who you are as a professional and who your company is. So all of a sudden the appearance piece that maybe only Apple seemed to focus on in the consumer space a few years ago, this has all of a sudden become a calling card for all of us. So being able to show yourself and your employees with a device that's sleek, that looks like you know your company is really focused on all the little details, these are little things that may not have been important pre-pandemic that all of a sudden are. And then again, sensitive data. People are out and about, which means sensitive data that is, you know, whether it be intellectual property or just unique to your own company, uh, all of a sudden that has a litany more of external endpoints that we need to be sure are secured and locked down. So how can we provide you with that type of experience? And when, again, when we're talking about working from anywhere, I wanted to introduce you to one product that we're calling Arrow. So light, strong, fast. This is really everything that you want to think of, just like you see a four by rowing skull out there. Um, everything that we're doing at HP now is really focused on being lightweight, but being in style. So a lot of the new devices that you're seeing come out from us uh, under a kilogram, 2.2 pounds. And if you're thinking, you know, does that really make a difference? Most of your laptops, if you haven't been purchasing them recently, you're looking at three, four, maybe five pounds, depending on how old they are. Um, so that weight, you know, if you're a, a mobile professional, three pounds over the course of a day taken out of your bag, uh, that's noticeable. Um, also, we've leaned in heavily with AMD, meaning that we're going to have better availability. And what we've given you is the lightest AMD-based business notebook in the world. Um, one thing at HP that we always like to say, we don't like to compromise. If we're making these advances, we've done a lot of the R&D on it. We've invested in premium materials, and we're not just throwing you a piece of plastic that's going to break. I've been to our facility in Fort Collins, Colorado, uh, and I've gotten to drop these devices when we design them, which I will say, what a blast. If you ever get a chance, just go and drop some devices to like, I mean, I don't recommend it with your own, uh, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, we undergo uh, 19 mil spec testing, over 120,000 hours um, that go through our entire test process before we release a device to the streets. And the ProBook Aero 635 that you can get through NECS um, is one of the results of that um, phenomenal and thorough testing process. You get the same performance and configurability that you're going to expect from HP, um, along with the durability that you would expect from a premium device. And a lot of the things we talk about, you know, what are the experiences that we're trying to provide? All of our new devices, you're going to see a screen to body ratio somewhere in the 80 to 90% range, which is huge. Uh, engineering wise, what that means, very small bezels because it's a smaller overall device without sacrificing screen visibility or anything along those lines. Um, from a mobility perspective, we've expanded our options uh, even at the ProBook level. Um, with a lot of 4G LTE, Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, LTE accessibility, and also Wi-Fi 4, 5, and then when we get into our elite books, Wi-Fi 6 enabled as well. Um, and what that means for, in layman's terms, for your employees and your end users is that there's no longer going to be an excuse of, oh, I, I didn't really have connectivity for the meeting, so I, I couldn't get on. Yeah, I'm sure there's LTE somewhere around you where you were able to connect your device. So no longer are we just tethered to our phones to be able to work in a fully mobile environment. This is the experience we're trying to provide to all of our customers where you can be connected and work literally from anywhere. Um, from a security perspective, we obviously take security very seriously. Uh, one tagline you may see from us, um, if you've been on any of the other webinars talking about print security um, or anything, uh, any marketing that you've seen, HP makes the most secure PCs and printers in the world. Um, that's not something that I can say lightly. It actually took legal about 18 months of research to be able to confirm that, yes, in fact, we could uh, say that publicly. And what that means is that we have features uh, like what you see here, SureView Reflect. This is an integrated privacy filter uh, that's offered on our Pro and Elite Book devices. Uh, you hit the F2 key on your screen and it actually narrows the field of vision to 45 degrees. Uh, meaning that if you've got sensitive data, if you've got mobile workers who might be on a plane, on a train in a crowded area, they can hit that key and it's the exact same effect of putting a, uh, you know, one of those 3M privacy filters on your device without the inconvenience of having to use one of those filters and have it break and then continue to replace it uh, every few months or so. So this is one of the great features that we offer. 
but we have an entire security stack that goes from above the operating system with that Sherview Reflect to in the operating system, providing uh, whitelisting and what HP calls Sure Run, which allow is a constant scanning in the background of your device to ensure that if a person has uh, fallen victim to a phishing scam or let their guard down uh, even for a second, the device actually is going to be in there, clean it up if it recognizes any non-factory approved um, EXE code running in the background, and it'll actually uh, lock the device down, restart it, and then below the operating system, we have something called HP Sure Start. And what that means is that we have a permanent golden copy of the BIOS that was already factory approved that it'll actually just pull from. So even if you get malware, crypto lock, anything on your device, the device is automatically going to restart itself and uh, pull you from the cleanest copy of your BIOS possible. So everything that we do at HP, we try to take it to a different level, especially when it comes to security. Um, and then when we come from, you know, uh, the mobility piece, we've also introduced HP Quick Drop this year. Uh, it's an app that you can download on your phone and our new devices seamlessly integrate with HP Quick Drop, which means if you get a cool picture or something along those lines, or, you know, maybe something that was very important that you got in a text, you know, you don't have to go in and say, all right, well, let me send this email to myself so that I can save it and it puts it somewhere. HP Quick Drop, slide the file right into Quick Drop, it'll seamlessly appear right on your PC. So again, a lot of cool features that we've introduced this year that we're really trying to hone in on this post-pandemic experience to provide a better mobile experience for all of our customers. Um, and if that wasn't enough, big thing that we've also leaned in on is sustainability. I don't know if you've heard anything from our CEO, Enrique Morris, but uh, the planet is a big central theme to what we do at HP, sustainability, everything that we do, uh, whether it be um, EP certified gold, uh, ocean bound plastics, recycled magnesium, whatever it is, uh, we are trying to be the most environmentally responsible company that you can't, that we can be. Uh, so from a recycling standpoint, uh, we try not to waste anything, whether it's from the packaging or what we're putting into our devices. So if that matters to you, uh, you can trust that it matters to us as well. And speaking on the pandemic piece, uh, sanitization, obviously very important, uh, making sure that we can clean our devices properly. Um, our pro and elite books, the aluminum and magnesium cases, we test to withstand at least a thousand cycles of, dis, uh, of disinfectant and wipes. Um, so you guys can be very confident that if your employees are in areas where they want to make sure that their devices are extra sanitized, uh, you're not going to have that stuff eating away in our cases or our keys. Um, and now, if that wasn't enough, keep in mind, we're only at our pro book level. And these are the base level of devices, and this is the base level of the expertise and the effort that we put into our devices. If you were looking for a step up, maybe you wanted to go from aluminum to a little bit more magnesium, a better audio experience, world-facing microphones, um, larger storage and power options, we have our Elite Book line. Um, we try to be uh, very adaptable in everything we do. Uh, devices that can fold fully into tablets, touchscreen options, um, even full-blown X2 tablets. We try to incorporate all of that. Um, what that means from an adaptability standpoint, we have the broadest mainstream notebook portfolio in the world. Uh, we also lean in with AMD much more than anybody else. And what that means for you in a world where uh, supply chain, obviously, uh, it's probably pretty noticeable that uh, the electronics that you want, even cars that you want right now, you're looking at intensely long lead times. HP is leaned in heavily with AMD as a processor company, meaning that we have more options than only leaning on Intel. And so because of that, we have the thinnest and lightest AMD notebooks. We have the longest battery life in an AMD notebook and the thinnest and lightest 15 inch notebooks in the world. Um, and that's not by accident. This is really where we've wanted to lean in and provide, again, a better overall innovation and experience for our customers. So with that elite book level, We've designed and engineered our 800 series to make sure that you can actually lift the devices from anywhere without worrying about breaking them or anything like that. Uh, we've engineered quieter keyboards. I'll get into that a little bit. Um, and again, we've increased our lean-in um, industry-leading uh, USB Type-C, which is becoming the new industry standards and trying to provide more of those uh, USB-C and Thunderbolt ports for power and data transfer. Um, and when we say that we've got multiple choices for AMD and Intel, um, this is a huge deal because you'll look around the industry and you won't see AMD as much as a PC processor and you'll see a lot more in gaming consoles and everything else. 
So HP has really kind of landed on the moon here with AMD, and we've got a great partnership to be able to provide more product in the, uh, in the industry and around the uh, channel for all of our customers. And when we're talking about engineering and smaller and lighter, uh, we mean that between 5 and 10% or 3 and 12% smaller and lighter, we've really invested heavily in this area. Um, and we think about the reasons for that. People are working everywhere now. You don't always have the luxury of being on a big desk or in a cubicle. You might be working in the corner of a coffee shop on the edge of your couch. So having a 12% smaller footprint, having a larger screen to body ratio, these are all major engineering achievements that we've been able to make. Um, and a lot of that's come from, you know, not skimping out on materials. You won't find plastic in our devices. They're all aluminum case or aluminum and magnesium case, or even in some cases, fully magnesium case. That allows our engineers to find smaller ways to fit more things in, narrower bezels, and then a stronger strength to weight ratio. Um, but in addition to that, when we talk about, you know, making sure that you're able to be heard, um, for example, I'm using an HP Dragonfly right now, standing pretty far away from the device or sitting rather. Um, and if there was other noise in the room, there are world facing microphones on our elite books that actually identify white noise not central to the conversation and actually uh, work to actually drop that noise out. And also uh, the microphone actually is actively 3D scanning. Meaning if I move over here or if I move over here, I sound exactly the same because the microphones actually identify that I'm the central person talking and I'm going to be able to you know, provide a better experience for the other end of my call. Um, and the funny thing here when you say, oh yeah, like why does a keyboard matter? Well, I'm sure like most of you, um, even right now, and no offense taken because we all do it, but we're all multitasking. We're all trying to do as many things as possible because that's just the new world that we live in. If you happen to not have your microphone on mute, uh, it's very easy on a laptop to hear your keyboard typing. Uh, so what HP has done is we've redesigned all our keyboards. Um, the rubber dome underneath, the grommets and the keys themselves, uh, it's a 50% quieter uh, typing experience. And you may think that that's a small thing, but we really don't look at it that way. Uh, that's a pretty major achievement uh, from our standpoint. And then from an ease of use standpoint, we've also introduced uh, HP programmable keys which means that you can actually just access your most commonly used apps by simply hitting the F12 button on your PC. So trying to provide that seamless experience that limits even the small little things, that's really what we've become about at HP. And if there wasn't enough features in that, uh, we've even introduced long life batteries and better mobile performance. We've worked very hard to access the right type of batteries with the right algorithms in them to provide, you know, 95% of your AC level performance while on battery power. And also we've looked into other things in our experience like HP Fast Charge. On our elite devices, you're going to find HP Fast Charge, which means that in 30 minutes, you can get 12 of those 24 hours of playback back immediately. And you would think, well, yeah, but when would I really need that? One of the things that our engineers realized is that most of the travel flights that you take have an average of a 45 minute time between flights. And if you happen to be on a flight without an AC charger, you're gonna be working on that flight, you're gonna to touch down, you're gonna land. If you can get to an outlet in the airport, 30 minutes gives you another 12 hours and you're back to working again. So the experience that we're trying to provide is just recognizing and understanding that mobile professionals are going to be everywhere and we're trying to provide you devices that make your life as easy as possible. And you would think, well, I mean, could we possibly step up any further in the elite line? Of course we could. Um, the HP Dragonfly, we launched this last year. We're actually in our second generation of it now. Um, fully magnesium machine case, uh, which means an even smaller footprint and even lighter experience. Um, we've really amped up the uh, experience from an audio perspective. Um, even from a camera perspective, if you can see on my screen, um, I'm using a Dragonfly right now. We have an, an 88 degree world facing camera as well, uh, which is why you can see so much of my office, which if I'm being honest, kind of a headache because now I have to keep a much wider field of area or field of vision clean, which can sometimes be a headache when you live in here about, you know, uh, 10 hours a day, every single day of the week. Um, but all these features that we've really tried to carry into our devices to really demonstrate a premium experience for you and your end users. Um, again, the common theme in all of our line, everything you're going to see is under 2.2 pounds, um, but we don't sacrifice. Uh, you know, a 
Um, fully magnesium chassis provides a better strength to weight ratio than aluminum. We still run it through the same rigorous amount of tests. Um, and if you're looking for a cool story, uh, it's not just the dragonfly blue that you see that we're trying to, you know, make a unique statement to our customers. Um, magnesium looks really ugly when you mill it. So we had to find a dark enough color that would cover it, but still look cool. And that's how we settle on dragonfly blue. So uh, feel free to know that little tip. But one of the most impressive things that we were able to do in these devices uh, was the amount of power that we were able to pack in. Um, so quad core i7 and i9 processors available, two terabytes of internal storage and 16 gigs of RAM. Um, there's really not a lot that this device can't do. And it really is kind of the flagship device of our Elite Book line. So if you're looking for some of your executives or for yourself to really set yourselves apart uh, from a technology standpoint, but also provide a premium experience, the Elite Dragonfly is where you want to be. And keeping with our theme of sustainability, this was the first notebook last year that we launched with the true theme and focus of making sure that the plastic that we were putting into these devices would have been bound for the ocean had it not been for us. Um, so whether it be the EP gold, uh, the water-based pigments or the recycled plastics in the keycaps and uh, all of the other mechanical features in our devices, again, this is a major focus for us. But when we're building for experiences, we're also thinking of other types of users, like your technical creative managers. So maybe the people that may still require that premium experience, but might be editing large presentations or media rich files and uh, PowerPoints. Maybe they're reviewing AutoCAD drawings or maybe they're just reviewing types of video editing. Um, this is where we need to go to a different level. And I wanna make sure that you guys understand that beyond getting great printers and great service from NECS, you can also get this level of PC and this level of expertise. And when I'm saying this level, a lot of people always say, well, where do I go from here if I'm using a certain type of software? If you're in financial analysis, if you're using Maya, if you're using Avid, uh, maybe you're taking your Photoshop to a Premiere Pro, or maybe you just are needing a little bit more out of your PC experience than what you would get from your simple data entry. Well, that's where the HP workstation line comes in. And again, you can get every single one of these devices with expert service through NECS, um, but when you get to this workstation level, it's why it's important to work with a VAR like NECS who understands your business and the value, because we're not talking about what's a better device when you get to the workstation level. We're talking about what the best experience is for that user, like that technical and creative manager. Um, for example, if you're doing high powered compute, we have what's called the ZBook Fury. This is pretty much one of those desktop workstations paired down into a laptop with the ability to build VR environments and explore and do, you know, benchmarked engineering level testing um, based off of NVIDIA's Quadro graphics cards. Or maybe you might have some extreme gamers or people who are doing a little more around graphics and video, and they need a device based around the NVIDIA GeForce cards. And that's our studio and our create. Um, but when we think about our technical creative managers, we're looking here at a new device that we introduced last year, which is the ZBook Firefly. Uh, this is the smallest and lightest mobile workstation in the world, 14 and 15 inch options. And again, by incorporating magnesium into our engineering, you can see that off of its predecessor, we've gotten significantly smaller, significantly lighter, but we haven't sacrificed anything in terms of performance or appearance. Um, we've optimized our mobility. You have the same security stack with a better manageability experience for workstation capability. We have LTE options on these mobile workstations. Um, but we also have that NVIDIA Quadro graphics card. We have 10th and 11th gen Intel processors. And from a viewing perspective, we have 4K UHD certified uh, RGB screens on all of these. So what that means for you and for your employees is that through NECS, you have an exact experience that's custom made just for you, your workforce, and everything that you're trying to do. Um, so through HP and NECS, uh, you know, we try to create this popsicle hotline experience for you and for your end users. Um, I can't promise that uh, if we're having a conversation that I'll show up with an ice cold popsicle on a silver platter, uh, but I can promise that we're really going to deliver an experience that's unique to you and everything that you guys are trying to get done. Um, and with that, uh, I feel like uh, maybe I took six or seven breaths over the past 31 minutes. 
I'm going to take a sip of water. Um, but does anyone have any questions about anything I talked about or uh, even the industry in general as of right now? And everyone, feel free to either raise your hand and I can uh, unmute your line or you can uh, use the Q&A button that's at the bottom of the screen if you have any questions for Jason. If you want to talk about other tips for getting into Fenway very easily, I've got a lot of those as a season <laughs> ticket holder for a few years. Well, I guess that, that just means that everyone, uh, I obviously hit every high point that everyone needed to see. Um, we're going to get a lot of calls around uh, how to provide this premium experience for them. Um, and Laura, I'm sure everyone just wants to know how they're going to get a template. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, I've got a, a slide to share, Jason. So if you wouldn't mind unsharing. All yours. Awesome. And I will copy this slide. Um, so everyone, if you have further questions, feel free to reach out to your NECS rep and we can um, answer any further questions for you uh, based on this presentation or any of the presentations that we've been doing um, over the past week. So can you guys see my screen? I see it. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Jason. So, um, so everyone who stayed till the end, again, thank you for your time. We really appreciate um, you giving us your time and attention this morning. As a thank you, um, we are giving away these great Yeti Tumblr uh, stackable pint glasses. So what you need to do is email your name, your company and email address, your shipping address and phone number to Dan McBride. His information is here on the screen. Um, so you just need to go ahead and do that. And as a thank you, we will send you one of these awesome tumblers. I'll put it in front of my face so you can, so you can see it. Um, but I love mine. So I know you'll love yours as well. So um, I'll just leave that up there. Uh, Don, do you have any closing comments or anyone else? Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you again, all of you for attending. Jason, I thought it was really insightful for you to, to go through that. And hopefully all of you have gotten something out of this. There are a lot of options when it comes to looking at your, your notebooks. And when you, when you look to refresh the fleet for your company and make sure you have the right uh, equipment for the right application, and we are here to help. And as I mentioned, on top of getting the, the Yeti cooler, you'll also hear from our business development group, they want to call you and check in with you, see what you liked about this. Uh, let us know about any other topics you'd like to see in the future. We'd like to keep these kind of informative webinar series going for all of you as another way of NECS providing you some future knowledge that will help you and your company thrive. So thanks again for today. We appreciate it and look forward to seeing you in our next series. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.